This bookshelf has a bunch of random books on it, and I want to show you one book that can help you learn calculus. This is probably one of the easiest books that you can read and use in order to learn calculus. I've actually used this book to teach courses in college, and the prereq for courses in college for students who use this book is just basic algebra. So you can actually learn calculus with simply basic algebra, and in this video, I'm going to show you this book and show you how you can use it to learn calculus. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about another way that you can learn calculus. This is the book, Brief Applied Calculus. This one is written by Beersford and Rocket. This is the fifth edition. The edition doesn't matter so much. And I'll try to leave links in the description in case you wanna get a used copy or a new copy. And the reason this book is so good and so easy to use to learn calculus is because it's written for people who just know basic algebra. Again, there's zero trig in this book, zero. So you can learn calculus without knowing any trig. Now I know some people are thinking, oh, you really should learn trig. And I agree, but if you want to jump into calculus and you don't, want any, don't know any trig, this is an opportunity for you to get in and start learning which is pretty cool, right? There's nothing like knowing calculus before you take a calculus class. So it's got all the basic stuff here, derivatives and their uses, further applications of derivatives. And then over here, it's got some stuff with exponential and logarithmic functions. It's got a bunch of really basic problems here. I'll show you those in a minute. Integration and its applications, integration techniques and differential equations. So it even has differential equations, which is pretty cool, right? You can learn differential equations without knowing trig, it's, it's just like unheard of, but it's possible, right, it's possible. And then calculus of several variables, this is basically calculus three. So really you have a book that can teach you some calculus, it can teach you a little bit of differential equations, and it can teach you some multivariable calculus, and the only prereq is just knowing basic algebra. So if you have some algebra, in theory, you can jump into this book. The layout of this book, by the way, is phenomenal, again, I've read uh, most of the book, I've read most portions of the book, I've done a lot of the exercises, and that's because I've used this book in the past uh, to teach courses in college, where again, the prereq is simply a basic algebra course. So here's some simple questions, just to refresh your basic algebra knowledge. For each equation, find the slope m and y-intercept when they exist. So really, really basic, really basic mathematics. And let's just jump into the calculus so you can see, so this is the section on the chain rule and what the book calls the generalized power rule. And you can see here, you can see my marker uh, stains because uh, again, I've used this for teaching. So a lot of times I would do examples from books and those are my uh, old fingerprints uh, from when I've taught this class in the past. Yeah, generalized power rule. So really basic stuff, right? Notice there's no trig, right? And then you get answers in the back of the book so you can check your answers. So. This book is amazing. If you can find a copy, get it. I don't know how widely available it is. And I don't know if it's still in print. I, I don't really know. Um, but it's definitely, I think, the easiest calculus book that I own. Easiest calculus textbook. I don't think there's an easier one. There really isn't. Notice how, uh, oh, look at this. This is really cool. I wanna show you something. This is a cool section. Uh, where is it here? Well, it's back over here. Non-differentiable functions, yeah. This is a really cool section, and I like that it has an entire section on that, and it's just fun. It's just fun to teach calculus to people who don't know any tricks. So it's like their first experience with this new creature, which people know as calculus. This is a core topic that, at least in the United States, is taught in Calculus two courses in college, yet it's in this book, and you can learn it, again, with just basic algebra, integration by parts, you can see how it has like this yellow box here and it has the formula. I feel that that is excellent for people reading. I think it's very easy to read. The layout is very good. Look at this, it shows you everything. The procedure is not as complicated as it might seem. All the steps may be written together as follows. They, do, they, just do, they just do an excellent job. Look at the little arrows and stuff. I don't think it's possible to do better. I mean, I guess if you have a video and someone is writing it out and there's a voice, that could be a step up from written work, but it's really, really hard to compete with explanations like this when it comes to mathematics and calculus books. Phenomenal book. 
Uh, I don't know too much about the authors, but I just want to just give them a shout out and say they did a great job with this book. And I have, I have a lot of calculus books, tons of calculus books. And again, probably the easiest one. Something else that this book has that I should mention, because this book is written for a certain audience, is that this book actually has business applications. So you're going to get applications uh, that you'll see in this book that you won't see in those big, thick calculus books like the ones by Stewart or Larson or Thomas. It's got business applications, which is really interesting. And I think that they can really help your understanding of calculus and problem solving skills. For example, here we have a problem where we're finding price and quantity functions. This is a section on optimization, further applications of optimization. And it does have some harder problems like this one here, maximizing harvest size. This is something that, again, you won't see unless you take a business calculus class. But it's in this book. This is something you might see in a regular calculus class, this stuff here with the package materials. Again, this is business calculus, the cost function. Something here with taxes. And then you see here all of the word problems. And then you have some more word problems here. And they do get significantly harder. Uh, when I've taught the course in the past, again, um, this is probably the hardest thing in the course, right? It's these, it's these harder word problems, which you wouldn't see in a regular calculus class, yet you do see them in uh, a course that uses a book like this. Here's some of the multivariable calculus stuff. So again, if you want to learn some multivariable calc, you can actually learn it with just basic algebra with a book like this. Volume by double integrals. Really good pictures too, right? Really good explanations. Look at that. Just super clean, super, super clean. I'm getting goosebumps. I love this book. <laughs> I really, really like this book. And here's all the answers to the odd numbered problems in the back of the book. So how do you use a book like this to learn math? Well, basically you sit down and you just do math every day, right? Just do a little bit every day and you will get better. Now, this book is not going to make you like invincible at calculus. You can see here some of the problems are really, really basic, but honestly, that's how you learn, right? And I'm thinking of people I've taught using this book. You know, they struggle with these problems, right? These are people that just know basic algebra. So they're slowly transitioning to calculus and I think that doing lots of easy problems like this and having them build up in difficulty makes you better. So it's going to make you better at algebra and it's going to make you better at calculus. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The biggest takeaway you should take away from this video is that this is a book that you can use to learn calculus with and it's super easy compared to other books. It is literally the easiest book I own that you can use to learn calculus with. And that's why I wanted to make this video, just to make you aware of it, because I don't think that a lot of people know about this. It's not common knowledge, I think, that you can actually learn calculus with just basic algebra. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.